Punjabi community. And most of them are multi-millionaires. They make up about 15% of my electorate. The evidence is overwhelming that what brought them to Britain was to do well. And not only are they doing well, but they're making a massive contribution to our national life. They raise money for charities. They give the evenings Bangra dancing, as I said to some of you, one of you this evening. Um, they participate. I happen to think that when one's trying to identify issues, one should be very keen to respond to specific questions. I happen to think that ethnic minorities in Britain have virtually exactly the same priorities as everybody else. And therefore, that the themes that I've been talking about are as relevant to them as they are to me. Now, it is true that historically, the Conservative Party, I think, did insufficient work in trying to interest members of immigrant and ethnic minority communities in what we were about. I'd like to think that has fundamentally changed. Quite apart from anything else, I can't remember how many minority candidates we've now got standing with just under 50. And I reckon the fortune we should get, if we win the election, at least a dozen elected. It will be a revolutionary change, and to that can be added several hundred councillors who we now have from ethnic minorities all over the country. So for those reasons, uh, I very much want to encourage participation. Indeed, the mission was given to me by Ian Duncan Smith, who took this issue very seriously back in 2001, which is why I spent quite a lot of my time going around uh, meeting people. But my, my judgment is, if you're interested in conservative philosophy and its principles and the policies we've announced, this is the party for you, because I think we can deliver change. And above all, what we want to do is to make this country of ours a space we share a better place for our children and grandchildren and future generations. And that's what the party is all about. Thank you very much.